How are you, Peter? Better than the world out there. I've been watching this for hours, hoping to get a glimpse of the neighborhood, see how it's holding up through all this. But I guess Queens is not important enough for the news media to cover. How is your Aunt May faring? Any word from her? Thanks for asking, Hunter, but no. That must be stressful for you. It really is. I've been trying to reach her on her cell all day today, and the signal keeps dropping. I'm guessing that big hole in the New York atmosphere is interfering with her cellular network. Sometimes I feel like I should be there with her. To protect her. To protect the neighborhood. But I know you need me here. Be assured, we will not allow any harm to come to her. You really mean that? I do. That... like... means so much to me to hear you say. Oh! Looks like I just got a message. From your Aunt May? No, MJ. She said Aunt May is staying with her. What a relief. You should call them. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Thanks for checking in on me, Hunter. Robbie and I are going to play Valor's Edge until duty calls. Tony Stark's father had a secret trove of gamma research that Bruce Banner stole from under our noses. That stings me, and I'm not even an Avenger. If Lilith mind jacks me, she's going to be surprised how much of it is taken up by movie trivia and web fluid formulas. It's a simple question. I mean... Maybe? Maybe how? Maybe you did see a stolen piece of one-of-a-kind gamma tech at the mysterious creepy lab? It is possible. We were busy. Yeah, trying to save our friend. The one you all abandoned. Uh, no. The one we are all trying to save. Along with the rest of the planet. Banner's Accelerator. Now this from the person who saw their first light bulb a few weeks ago. And we're done here. What if I were to tell you that, theoretically, we could use the Accelerator to destroy the Parchment of Power? I would say, theoretically, that without the Parchment of Power, the prophecy could not come to pass. But that is impossible. Agreed. This from the Wizard with the Talking Cape, the Resurrected Demon Hunter, the Blood Witch, and the Queen of Limbo? <laughs> I'm the most boring person here. There might be a way to return to that facility. You never told me that. My sword retains a memory of every portal I open, but... It is better if I show you. To reach it, something pushes back. Like I've hit a wall. A wall? More like pure evil. A demonic energy barrier. Unlike any I felt before. Bruce. No matter what we do, he's always one step ahead of us. And to think, he used to be the boring one. There has to be a way through, and we have to find it. Try explaining that to Auntie Caretaker. She just read me the riot act about putting you in danger. You worry about the barrier. I will handle Sarah. I like where this is going. You appear to have something on your mind, Hunter. You obviously have something to say, so please say it. And make it quick, we don't have a lot of time. We need to go back to the Hydra lab Banner was using. We need... I don't need to hear any more. The answer is no. Caretaker, please. It is possible we could use the Stark Gamma Accelerator there to destroy the Parchment of Power. Oh, in that case, let me make my displeasure clearer. 
There is no way in hell I'm letting any of you go back to that lab, especially you. My job is to keep you alive, and that's what I intend to do. This is the last I want to hear of such an ill-advised plan. When I said you needed to work better as a team last night, I didn't mean you needed to work better to come up with absurd ideas. I thought I was the leader of this team now. If I am the leader, then maybe I should have the room to actually lead. And right now, I need to lead the team to retrieve the Gamma Accelerator. I see. Good. If you're feeling productive, maybe gather the team and use their collective resolve to stop the days from marching forward. It seems time is one of our enemies as well now. So what did Caretaker say to Stark's big plan? Well, out with it! What did Caretaker say when you proposed breaking back into Big Bad Banner's lab to retrieve Stark's Gamma... Gamma... Gamma Accelerator. <laughs> yes, that. I cannot imagine it went well. <laughs> Not well at all. It is not like she can stop us. <laughs> Look who's fully embracing their inner rebel hunter. Be careful. Soon you will be on caretaker's naughty list, like the rest of us. I wish I had time to be nice, but I do not. No, none of us do. I wish she would trust us, so we wouldn't have to go sneaking around behind her back. We deserve that, you know, to be trusted. I can only speak for myself, but the only person I really trust here is you. You too, Hunter. Well, you and Nico, Blade, Robbie, and... Wanda. We cannot forget about Wanda. She's still out there. She needs our help. That's why it's imperative for you to convince Caretaker that going back to Banner's lab is in the best interest of the entire team. You think we will encounter Wanda there? I know we will. Now hurry along and figure out a way to make it happen. We are counting on you. Oh my god, Robbie, why are you so pumped about meeting Blades? Word on the street is the dude's a major a-hole. Oh, come on. He's the original spirit of vengeance and, like, my personal hero. Almost as lame as Hank Pym being your hero. Uh, who's that? An annoying, outdated boomer. Just like your boy Blaze. Blaze is not a boomer. Whatever, Robbie. Fanboy all you want. Go get yourself an autograph for all I care. Just don't tell me I didn't warn you. Team Emo Kids for the win. I ordered weird candies. We should eat them. What is weird candy? Made from octopus, marbled with ginger shavings, and looks disgusting. Like a lump of clay you find in a gutter. I have eaten some strange things in my life. This cannot be any worse. We shall see. Also, I bet Robbie you would throw up. If you do, I will post a picture to Superlink. You what? Shush, you are committed. People online say it tastes better when lukewarm, but do not warm it too much. It is pungent if it sweats, like a cheese. Well, 
I am as ready as I will ever be. Where did I... Ugh, wait. I must have swapped them with the ritual components I collected from the forge. They have the same consistency. Is that a problem? For us, we have no candy. And perhaps for Strange, if he tries to bind a spirit with octopus ginger twists. Should we tell him? No, he's the Sorcerer Supreme. He will be fine. an unexpected treasure. I am growing to like you, Hunter. Your workout routine is intense. I respect that. There are only so many places a guy with a flaming skull on a motorcycle could be. Tony could blot out the sky with the number of satellites he could launch to hunt for Blaze, and I don't think it would do any good. Meanwhile, the greatest help we could have asked for came from this mysterious demon locked away in these flames for all eternity. Demons are, by definition, evil, yet this one seems to want to help. And I'm inclined to trust it. A demon reaching out to help us achieve our goals is just another sign that the old battle lines no longer exist. Good and evil mean nothing in the face of Cthon. Sadly, I think you're correct. So, Robbie... He is very definitely the key to finding Blaze. How do we make that happen? I think Stark and I have our work cut out for us. Tony and I need to put our heads together. We should have something soon. Watch yourself, Hunter. This night is darker than most. Why? Is there a danger I am not seeing? You're looking right at it. Lilith's darkness is testing me, Hunter. Her power is growing and mine along with it. I won't lie. I like feeling this strong. I like it a little too much. Surely you felt it too. I know that feeling well, Blade. Lilith is your mother after all. I'm doing my best to keep the blood-sucking beast in me at bay, but it's getting harder and harder each night. And I'll be honest, it pisses me off. You know how much I like to be in control. You are not in this alone. Do not forget what your teammates are for. I mean, you seem like someone who would rather be alone, but the Suns can help you. I know they can. That's why I'm still here. You know, sometimes I have found all you need is a good night's sleep. It does wonders for my outlook. Good nights, bad nights. I really don't sleep. It's not my thing. I'll be awake for a long time tonight. If you're not busy, we could sit a while. It would be nice to catch up. And what would you like to talk about? Whatever you want. Are you curious about the Fallen? Do you think we can bring them back? I wonder. They look terrible on the outside. I can't imagine they look any better on the inside. But I don't want to think those things about Wanda, so I really don't think about it at all. Lilith's evil goes deep. It corrupts to the core. Like I said, I'd rather think about other things. Seeing you and Logan bonding through training makes my heart glad. Logan's a good sparring partner. He doesn't hold back. 
Wouldn't mind having some of his carefree attitude, but not enough to lose my edge. There is a lot more to Logan than it appears at first. I know he's got his dark side. He's just better at showing it off. This seems like a good time to train with Carol. Why not? Logan's here. No, I mean if you have feelings for her, you should... I said Logan's here. Ah, uh, right. I understand. Do you think the Suns will ever pull it together as a team? A team's only as good as its leader. Maybe that leader is you, maybe it isn't. While we are talking about Lilith, is there anything she might be able to use against you? You mean leverage? Lilith looks for weaknesses as a way to get into your mind. I need to know about yours. I knew a woman once, Gloriana. We traveled the world together slaughtering vampires and making love. Good times. We were in London and got word of a master vampire on the loose. My big ego told me I could kill him as easy as the others. I was wrong. I nearly got myself killed. And because of that mistake, I left him an opening to turn glory into one of his kind. The woman I loved became the thing I hate. I'll spare you the rest of the details. It is okay. I understand the emotions. Love turning to hate resonates with me well. The night is only getting darker, and I am getting tired. Then sleep? You are not going to hit the coffin too. It is going to be an early morning. I don't know what it is with you and coffins. That felt good. Needed that. We're gonna need a new training dummy. You ended that one's career. <laughs> Sorry to bust up your equipment. Training at night always gets me in the zone. I'm the same. Night Stalker, all the way. Gives me a chance to let go. Be myself without worrying what others might think. Bub, I don't even know what myself is anymore. Butchers at Weapon X threw my mind into a blender. Wanted to erase the man to unleash the pure beast. They got what they wanted. And then some... Charles has been trying to help me put the pieces back ever since. <laughs> I'm not even sure I want to remember it all. A vampire fed on my mother during my birth. For whatever reason, her face at that moment was burned into my mind. It was the same one I saw years later when I had to put her down. We better order a lot more training dummies. That is... something. If you remember from the last trial, I told you that Hippus was consumed by his brother, Set, who absorbed his power. It was this betrayal that showed the Elder Gods Not much has changed among the world's fanatics. Impressed. 
Their time is short. Lilith herself could not best me. What makes you think you will fare any better? seeing any serpent men, but in his heyday, Set created his own personal army, much like Lilith and her children. He seemed to have an unusual fascination with Earth's various reptile species. This is a serious predicament for you. think I was done, did you? You had your chance to escape. Child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. falling apart. Unfortunately for those lumbering beasts, when Autumn came to destroy Set, the ensuing battle lasted for thousands of years and drove them to extinction alongside their fallen admirer. Favored by the Elder Gods.
This shall be of great help. I wouldn't go so far as to say Set is pleased, but I'm sure you've piqued his interest. Looks like it. Break the wall, Hunter. I will be right here. After. Set regards no obstacles. Perhaps I ask too much of him. There is only so much Hippus can do. Of all the things you weren't expecting, finding me here had to be near the top of the list. Have you been following me? On the contrary, kiddo. I think it's you that's been following in my footsteps. Speaking of which, have you been enjoying the trials? I'm not sure how you found your way down that path, but you've obviously impressed the gods, just like your mother and I did. You are being much calmer than I expected about all this. You aren't the first member of your family to sneak away and attempt the trials. I remember raising more than a few eyebrows on my run. This from the favored daughter of Oshter? Oh, I always respected Oshter, especially compared to some of her siblings. And my mother? I think she saw something of herself in Autumn, but she was never one to flatter the gods. She seems to have no issue kneeling to Cathan. Is that really what you believe, Hunter? I cannot say. At least you've kept an open mind. I'm not sure I would have. I have tried to remain neutral until I know more. If you've come this far, then there's really no point in hiding it anymore. This place, sealed and hidden away beneath my mother's garden, this was you again. Something else you wanted to lock away. 
Would you believe it's because I've been a stubborn old woman for far too many centuries? Yes. This may be difficult to understand, given what you've been told, how you were raised. But your mother isn't the bastion of evil the world knows her to be. Yes, I know she was not the mother of demons when she was with my father. There's more to it than that. I told you of her work to find a cure for his illness. There was nothing she could do, and when he passed, she accepted his fate. But then, the corruption came for you. I was sick? I do not remember that at all. I'm not surprised, given the cure. You were so young, so vulnerable. Lilith was inconsolable. If she had been desperate to heal your father, she was now completely unhinged when it came to curing you. But she did find a way. We had thought to bury it in this place forever, safe from not just the greedy eyes of petty men like Shaw, but from ourselves. The Darkhold. Yes, and sensing your mother's desperation, the damn thing called out to her. There within its pages, Lilith found a way to protect her child. Straight from the Great Shadow himself, Kathan. And as payment, she pledged her eternal devotion to him. Reborn as the mother of demons. She gave herself to Kathan for me. You were her only child, and she loved you more than anything else in this world. In her mind, it was no sacrifice at all. You were all that mattered. And you still let me believe she was a monster. For your protection, I only let you see her as she is now. But what she became... What she became? I barely recognized. She may have been your mother. But there was no way she could be your mother ever again. And so you cast her out? She was weakened from the transition. Some part of her soul still struggling with the corruption infecting her, I suppose. I knew I would only have the moment, and so... I struck, drove her from the Abbey. From you. It was the only way I could protect you. In my mind and in my heart, I believed that the Lilith I knew would have done the same. But then she came back. Yes, it took her years, but she finally returned. Of course, by then, she had become something far different. The rest, as you know, is history. Until now. I thought by sealing this place, by avoiding the truth, that it would somehow make all of this easier. But I also knew someday we would have this conversation. I need time to think about all of this. I know it's a lot to consider. I don't expect you to take everything I've said at face value. Thank you for finally sharing the truth, Sarah. Thank you for listening, kiddo. I don't scare that easily. Hears me, but has no answers.
set is in good humor today. Welcome to spend as much time here as you like, Hunter. I haven't been down here in ages. Maybe you'll find something among your mother's things. I hadn't intended on eavesdropping, dear. But I couldn't help but overhear your conversation with Sarah. Did you know about my mother? Sarah was never any more forthcoming about Lilith with me than she has been with you. She must have felt it was safer to keep both of us in the dark. It is hard to know what to think now. After so many years and so many conflicting stories, you have every right to be unsure. And to say nothing of what this did to you? It may sound ridiculous, but if someone had to end up this way, I'm glad it was me. Can you imagine what a nightmare Sarah would be as a poltergeist? That is true. We may have had another terror stalking the grounds had things gone differently. And despite everything, I have to say, I'm glad we were able to spend this bit of extra time together, Hunter. I enjoyed it too, Agatha. I'm glad, dear. But there are still more secrets to discover, if you're interested. More still? How will I know where to find them? Oh, I'd say some combination of dumb luck and persistence? But in all seriousness, with Set's blessing, you'll be able to break down all sorts of things, I imagine. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Just have fun, dear. <laughs>